Researchers recently found a child's tooth that is aged at least 130,000 years old. With this discovery, scientists were able to better understand our history and genes, and the results are mind-boggling. The tooth has indicated an amazing connection between ancient human races and modern people. The genomes of contemporary humans, which show a continuous genetic legacy, provide evidence for this. The populations that border the South China Sea and a number of other major Asian countries are where this legacy is most visibly present. Furthermore, researchers have discovered that modern humans contain DNA that is approximately 3 to 5 percent of the DNA of Australian Aboriginals. But the experts in this field have found a higher percentage of genes among modern New Guineans. But there's more. The researcher team has identified that one bone and one tooth belong to a species of ancient human completely unknown until now. What does this mean? Human beings we never thought existed? This is an interesting story, so let's explain it. A new study has found that a tooth of a child aged at least 130,000 years old could help scientists get more information about an early human cousin. The research suggests that the Denosovans, now an extinct branch of humanity, used to live in Southeast Asia, where it was warm all year round. Not much is known currently about them. Associate Professor Mike Morley of Flinders University stated, We have essentially found the smoking gun. This tooth shows there were once present this far south in the karst landscapes of Laos. The research team was expecting to find evidence of Homo erectus, as these had been discovered in the area previously. The team also expected to find early modern humans. To determine which species the tooth belonged to, the researchers looked at the patterns of ridges and dips on the surface of the tooth and compared them with those from other teeth belonging to archaic human species. The teeth didn't look like they belonged to Homo sapiens or Homo erectus, an ancient human whose remains have been found all over Asia. This archaic human was the first of its kind to walk upright. The cave tooth, most distantly related to this tooth found in China, was discovered on the Tibetan Plateau, located in Gansu province. Scientists initially believed that it may have belonged to a different species altogether. But after further study, they realized that it indeed came from a Denisovian. And more importantly, remains suggest that this particular owner was likely a young female who lived to eight years old at the most. Although we have still much to learn, these discovered group of humans, who scientists first found in 2010, located in a Siberian cave, researchers found the finger bone of a young girl that didn't belong to any known human groups at the time. With only a finger and wisdom tooth from the cave, researchers extracted an entire study of the group. Then in 2019, they discovered a jawbone on the Tibetan Plateau, which served as evidence that at least part of the species also lived in China. The tooth is estimated to be between 160,000 and 131,000 years old, based on dating methods used in the surrounding sediment. This was around the same time this group was believed to have roamed Asia. After performing different analysis on the tooth's proteins and creating a 3D X-ray reconstruction of it, they were able to see that its internal structure was very similar to molars found in another specimen discovered in Tibet. However, this tooth was much different than those belonging to modern humans, as well as other ancient species from Indonesia and the Philippines. Professor Demeter, a researcher at the University of Copenhagen in Denmark, stated that the proteins allow them to identify the sex, female, and confirm its relation to the homo species. The tooth is currently temporarily based in Denmark. Furthermore, scientists have long suspected that this species is closely related to the Neanderthals, who lived in Southeast Asia. Evidence of this has been mostly based on the genetic makeup of modern populations in the region, but now it looks like they finally have some physical remains to back up their claim. They diverged from one another around 400,000 years ago. Neanderthals expanded their territory into Europe, while the other group migrated eastward into Asia. Although researchers have found many fossils belong to the former, these remains have been much harder to come by. In fact, all of the evidence for this latter group has been verified and could fit comfortably inside a small sandwich bag. They all come from just two locations, one in Siberia the other in Tibet. 
Dr. Fabris Demeter, lead study author and assistant professor of paleontology, said they don't know what the early humans looked like yet, but they have discovered some information about their genes. He explained that the common ancestor of these modern humans existed between 700 and 500,000 years ago. The non-modern human branch split again by 470,000 to 380,000 years and gave rise to both those groups. Additionally, a noteworthy Laotian archaeologist who is responsible for the large volume of research present on Laos, he was dedicated to his work and willing to relocate to any sites that had been studied and then abandoned in the 1930s. This included the Cobra Cave. The new study is dedicated to the memory of a co-author who passed away in April. If it weren't for him, our team would have never had the opportunity to work here, said Dr. Demeter, the study's co-author and paleontologist. The only known physical evidence of this group has been found until recently are a few teeth, a peaky bone, and skull fragments from a cave in southern Siberia. However, with the recent discovery of Laotian molar, scientists may finally be able to gain more knowledge about these ancient people. According to Clement Zanoli, teeth are like a black box containing information about an individual's life. He should know. He's a paleontologist, and he and his team have been studying them for years. Shapes, structure, chemistry, and wear patterns can all offer clues about an animal's age, diet, or habitat which is why tooth shapes help scientists identify new species among both humans and their extinct cousins. As we suspect, this group should be present here. It's great to have some solid proof of their existence in the area, said co-author Laura Shackelford, a paleontologist at the University of Illinois, and she told that to the New York Times. Although this species is long gone, researchers have found a few fossilized remnants of their time on Earth. Most notably, in 2019, researchers discovered a jawbone on the Tibetan Plateau. Additionally, in Siberia, there are fragmentary fossils that offer very little information about what they looked like while alive. In order to gain a better understanding, Israeli scientists used DNA from a 13-year-old girl's pinky bone who died tens of thousands of years ago to reconstruct 85% accurate skeleton models in 2019. Approximately 6% of the genome is present in contemporary humans residing in Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands, such as Australia's Aboriginal population, and from Malaysia and Filipinos. This provides evidence that our distant ancestors occupied a wide region stretching from Eastern to Southern Eurasia. Out of all the ancient civilizations that have been looked into by researchers, none has left such confusing puzzles as these. The only remains ever found of this prehistoric species are a few tiny pieces of bone and teeth. They were an ancient group of people who died out long ago, but new evidence suggests they had a significant impact on the people of today. Up to 6% of their genes are now found in modern New Guineans and 3-5% to of the DNA of Aboriginal Australians. Scientists have discovered and it's believed that the gene allowing Tibetan people to survive at high altitudes was inherited from them. In addition, information about these people comes from investigating old genomes. Twenty years ago, when scientists first found ways to get DNA from fossils and make duplicates of that genetic material so they could examine it more closely. Moreover, scientists working at the Max Planck Institute were examining bones and teeth discovered in a cave located within the mountains of Siberia. This is the same place where Neanderthal fossils had been found previously. They identified one bone and one teeth of a specific ancient human completely unknown until now. Of the few fossils we have, many contained a lot of genetic material. This enabled scientists to sequence entire genomes from these samples. By making this information available, it allowed us to see that they interbred with modern humans at some point. In addition, there may be plenty more that scientists are unaware of. Plethora of human fossils have been discovered all over Asia, many of them placed in a broad category called Archaic Homo. However, recent research suggests that some of these could be possibly Denisovians or similar enough to warrant the assumption. Modern humans were successful in their expansion, while the Neanderthals and Denisovians went extinct, even though both groups had adapted to a Eurasian environment for hundreds of thousands of years. 
Researchers are still trying to pinpoint the reason for the discrepancy. If this latest discovery is confirmed, it will provide crucial information about this puzzling species. More importantly, it shows that they had a much wider range across Eurasia during the late periods than current evidence suggests, and they were able to adapt to a wide variety of environments. A new study reveals that this extinct species of humans may have interbred with our ancestors. The evidence for this is found in the genomes of modern humans, which show a continued genetic legacy from them and down to us. As we have previously mentioned, this legacy is most prominently seen in populations across the South China Sea. Study author and paleontologist at CNRS, the French National Center for Scientific Research, and the University of Bordeaux said this demonstrates that Denisovians were likely present also in Southern Asia. The research team has more planned for the future. Zenonoli stated that they are currently analyzing the oxygen carbon chemicals present in the tooth enamel. This could give insight into what climate they lived in as well as the food they consumed while the molar was growing. The fossil tooth may have more to offer as well. Dr. Tamiter mentioned that they have carried out isotope analysis on the enamel of the tooth in order to unveil the diet that this girl was eating. The team is eagerly awaiting results at this time. Thanks for listening and subscribe for more interesting videos.